The lungs are remarkable organs, responsible for delivering life-sustaining oxygen to the cells throughout the body. But did you know that the carpet in your home may actually cause damage to your lungs? How about this? Do you ever bake or cook with flour? Well, that too, my friend, can negatively affect your respiratory system. While most people are aware of the obvious threats to lung health, such as smoking and exposure to industrial pollutants, there are numerous lesser-known factors that can harm our lungs, which is what we're going to discuss in this video. Be sure to watch until the end because I'll share a few shocking causes of lung damage that you don't want to miss. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Number one on our list, as I previously mentioned, is your carpet. Carpet, while comfortable and aesthetically pleasing, can be a source of indoor air pollution. It can trap dust mites, pet dander, dirt, and other particulates that can be harmful when inhaled. Moreover, new carpets often release volatile organic compounds including formaldehyde, which can irritate the lungs and worsen respiratory conditions. Therefore, regular vacuuming and choosing low VOC carpets can mitigate some of these risks. Number 2. Gas Appliances Gas stoves, ovens, and heaters can release a mix of pollutants when they burn natural gas. One primary concern is nitrogen dioxide, a harmful gas that can irritate the respiratory system, exacerbate asthma, and reduce lung function. Prolonged exposure to low levels of this gas indoors, especially without proper ventilation, can have detrimental effects on lung health. Number 3. Flour While baking and cooking are enjoyed by many, few are aware that flour can pose a respiratory risk. When flour becomes airborne, it can be inhaled, leading to inflammation of the lungs. Over time, repeated exposure can contribute to baker's asthma, which is a type of occupational respiratory condition. Therefore, it's essential to handle flour carefully and ensure good ventilation when using it in significant quantities. Number 4. Mold Mold is a type of fungi that thrives in damp environments. When it grows indoors, mold spores can be released into the air which, when inhaled, can trigger allergic reactions, asthma attacks, and other respiratory issues. In some cases, specific types of molds produce mycotoxins, which can be particularly harmful, leading to more severe respiratory conditions and systemic effects. Number 5. Fragrance Many products from perfumes to air fresheners contain synthetic fragrances which can release volatile organic compounds and other chemicals into the air. For individuals with sensitivities or respiratory conditions, exposure can trigger headaches, asthma attacks, and irritation to the eyes, nose, and throat. Opting for fragrance-free or naturally scented products can help mitigate these risks. Number 6. Ugh, cockroaches These common household pests are not just unsettling, their dropping, saliva, and body parts contain allergens that can trigger asthma symptoms and other respiratory reactions when inhaled. Infestations can lead to increased levels of these allergens in your home, posing a significant health risk, which is why regular cleaning and addressing infestations promptly can help reduce exposure to these allergens. Number 7. Birds Birds, while often loved as pets or admired in nature, can be a source of allergens and pathogens harmful to the lungs. Bird droppings and feathers can lead to respiratory conditions such as bird fancier's lung or pigeon breeder's disease. These conditions are types of hypersensitivity pneumonitis, a reaction to inhaled organic dust. Therefore, regular cleaning and good ventilation can help reduce the risks associated with bird allergens. Number 8. Fireworks The dazzling displays of fireworks, though visually stunning, can come with a lesser-known health cost. They release a mix of chemicals and fine particulate matter into the air, which can be inhaled deep into the lungs. This can exacerbate respiratory conditions like asthma and can be especially harmful to individuals with pre-existing lung diseases, which is why it's wise to enjoy such displays from a distance and to be mindful of air quality during and after the events. Number 9 may surprise you, and it concerns the airbags in your car. Designed to save lives in car accidents, airbags can also pose a temporary risk to lung health. When they deploy, they release a burst of chemicals, including harmless but potentially irritating powders meant to lubricate and ensure the bag's smooth release. Inhalation of these chemicals and powders can cause temporary respiratory irritation and coughing, especially in confined car interiors. 
However, it's essential to remember that the benefits of airbags in protecting against severe injury far outweigh these transient effects. Number 10. Insulation Many insulation materials, especially older types like asbestos, can pose significant respiratory risks. When these materials break down or are disturbed during renovations, they can release tiny fibers into the air. If inhaled, these fibers can become trapped in the lungs, leading to inflammation, scarring, and serious conditions like asbestosis or mesothelioma. Even newer, fiberglass insulation can release small particles that may irritate the airways. Therefore, proper handling, including wearing protective gear and ensuring a good ventilation is crucial when working with or around insulation. Number 11. Hot Tubs While hot tubs provide relaxation, they can also be a source of harmful airborne pathogens if not adequately maintained. The warm and bubbly environment can foster the growth of certain bacteria, like the one responsible for a condition known as hot tub lung, which is a type of hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Ensuring regular cleaning, proper chlorination, and maintenance of hot tubs can help prevent the growth and aerosolization of these pathogens. Number 12. Wood-burning stoves Wood-burning stoves, though often seen as a cozy source of heat, can release a range of pollutants into indoor air, including fine particulate matter, carbon monoxide, and volatile organic compounds. These pollutants can irritate the lungs, worsen respiratory conditions like asthma, and contribute to other health issues. It's essential to ensure that wood stoves are correctly installed, well-maintained, and used with dry, well-seasoned wood to minimize the release of harmful pollutants. Proper ventilation and the use of advanced stove designs can further reduce the associated risks. Number 13. Radon Gas Radon is a colorless, odorless, radioactive gas that originates from the natural decay of uranium found in most types of soil. It can enter homes and buildings through cracks in floors, walls, or foundations and become trapped inside. Inhaling radon can damage lung cells and has been identified as the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking. Since radon is undetectable without specialized equipment, it's recommended to test homes for its presence, especially in areas known for high radon levels. Number 14. Pesticides These chemicals designed to repel or kill pests can have unintended consequences on human health, especially the lungs. Inhalation of some pesticides can cause irritation of the respiratory tract, shortness of breath, and in more severe cases, damage to the lungs. Some pesticides have also been linked to the development or exacerbation of asthma. So when using pesticides, it's vital to follow safety guidelines, use them in well-ventilated areas, and consider alternative pest control methods when possible. Number 15. Farming While farming is a vital profession, it can expose workers to various respiratory hazards. Dust from soil, grains, and other materials can be inhaled, leading to disorders like farmer's lung, another type of hypersensitivity pneumonitis caused by breathing in the dust from moldy crops. Other risks include exposure to chemicals, pesticides, and gases like ammonia or methane from animal waste. Wearing protective masks, ensuring proper ventilation, and following safety protocols can help mitigate these risks in agricultural settings. Number 16. Candles While they can create a calming ambiance and lovely scent in your home, candles, especially paraffin-based ones, release pollutants when burned. These include particulate matter, volatile organic compounds, and even traces of lead from their wicks. These pollutants can irritate the respiratory system and exacerbate existing lung conditions, which is why opting for candles made of beeswax or soy with cotton wicks can reduce these risks, as can ensuring proper room ventilation when burning candles. Number 17. Humidifiers Though they are beneficial for adding moisture to dry indoor air, humidifiers can also disperse harmful microorganisms or minerals into the air if they are not properly maintained. Breathing in this mist can lead to respiratory infections or lung inflammation. That is why it's vital to clean humidifiers regularly, use distilled or demineralized water, and ensure they are set to the right humidity level to prevent mold growth and overhumidifying. But as you can see, protecting your lungs goes beyond avoiding the obvious culprits. It requires comprehensive understanding of the hidden threats lurking in our everyday surroundings. By being informed about these risks and taking proactive measures, 
you can now ensure that your respiratory system remains healthy for months and years to come. After all, every breath we take is a testament to the remarkable adaptability of our lungs, and it's our responsibility to keep them in optimal condition. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.